really putting yourself out there. It's being challenged. It's stepping into the unknown. The young people are looking for purpose. They're looking for a way to, you know, kind of lay it on the line. help out, they want to give back, um, and this program is an awesome, awesome way to do that. Catholic Urban Project is a group of young adults living in the urban environment together in community, uh, sharing um, a community life together, a common life together, and then reaching out to the urban environment to share their faith. It's an opportunity for young adults to spend eight weeks in the summer coming into an urban environment and connecting with people who are either socially disenfranchised, economically disenfranchised, and spiritually disenfranchised. There's um, definitely an aspect of, of basic service and things in the community with people who either can't do the work in their home, the elderly, or people that just don't have the money or the resources to do basic fix-up work. Sometimes following God means helping people who need it with things that aren't actually really difficult but need to be done. So our mission is not just to reach out to the poor, but to the isolated poor, to people who perhaps don't have a sense of belonging. And certainly the poor in many of our urban areas are incredibly isolated. It's good for us to help them feel engaged because we are helping them to become more alive as human beings in that process. And we have a lot of young people this John Paul II generation, who have wide open hearts and they want to do something. They want to volunteer and they want to make a difference. And they're doing summer camps for small children. They're working as interns in various apostolates around the city, a hope clinic that's a medical clinic for the poor, and working with uh, some of the dying, a house for the dying. Just, just go in our local neighborhood and go to people's houses and say, you know, we'll pray for you. As a person that's doing it, it doesn't, I mean, you just, you know, you just cleaning some rooms, you're painting some walls, but uh, to them, it's just a huge, huge, huge help for them. So our service of the poor must fundamentally be a service of relationship, to engage them with us and for us to be engaged with them. That's the most fundamental service we, as Christians, as Catholics, can give to the poor. They gave me a memory I will never, ever forget. We are really, you know, helping on a very practical, physical level, but then also on a deeper spiritual level as well, just really trying to build relationships. Every day is a struggle, you know. Every day is a struggle for me anyway. I'm disabled. I have multiple sclerosis cancer of the spine, and I suffer with seizures. And I'm just basically here by myself. The poverty of being alone, of being unwanted, of being separated from those you love is a tremendous poverty. Um, Mother Teresa said it's one of the greatest poverties. It's, it's one that we suffer from a lot here in the United States in the urban environment. I don't want to be isolated, you know, by the way I feel. Sometimes I just don't, I'm not in the mood for having a, a lot of visitors or anything. I could not afford to have different things fixed up in the home. My um, bathroom sink stopped working. My electricity started going out. It got so bad, I couldn't function. Different things like that, you know, that is a necessity in the home, I wasn't having anymore. It's important that any initiative which seeks to engage the poor, to share with them, to have what, what Pope John Paul II always called an exchange of gifts. The poor have something to give us, we have something to give them, this exchange of gifts, this human interaction. We're called to fix the problem in front of us, to address the need of the individual who stands in front of us. Uh, we learned this from Mother Teresa. So what we're doing here with, with the, uh, the missionaries is uh, getting, getting, this, uh, getting our toilet, getting our floor, getting our uh, shower. She just has a tub right now. We're getting a little handheld shower a new faucet. 
I'm on. I'm just on SSI. I don't get a whole bunch of money. And by the time I pay the rent and the bills and stuff, I, I'm broke at the first of the month, you know. And they sent me home on hospice. That's where you're at your end stages and there's nothing else I can do for you, so. I'm sure there's people that more that are more deserving. But like I said, I'm glad I got picked. a certain budget to, to work with, so we do what we can, right? Yeah. The beautiful part of this program is it, it fits, it surrounds. It's helping the elderly, assisting you know young children or adolescents community it's doing practical service but it's also evangelizing it's praying with other people it's just so well-rounded it's serving people for sure um, but it's really loving them and that's I think at the core of it and it seems so simple but it means so much to people it's the church going out into the neighborhood again and going out again to perfect strangers who are in your neighborhood and saying, we have something in common, we have humanity in common, we have a, we're made in God's image, uh, we're meant to live in community, we're meant to live with each other and pray for each other, so let's not be strangers. Not just everyone can come and be a, a Catholic Urban Project missionary, but everyone can contribute. Um, everyone can give financial assistance, and that financial assistance will allow others, especially young adults who don't have resources themselves, to come and participate in our program. is for the direct care of the people that we service. It's for the food, you know, the, the sandwiches. The tile on the floor, a new toilet, all those little things that need tools, they need time, all that money goes towards those sorts of things. I should never, however, look at it as just giving a donation. I should look at it as a gift of myself to the person in need who will be receiving me through that gift. <laughs> Just doing this, it's been like, I want to do more. And then just the work that you're doing, you just feel good. I'm glad I did it. I just feel like that it's good to have the volunteers to come out to do this for the community. Should be everywhere, and I think it can be everywhere. And like this is this is how it starts. So we are hoping this becomes a, a growth project, uh, and that this is the first of many uh, uh, such operations. We are we are living in the last days, and time isn't as long as it has been. And it's time for the youth to pick up the slack and hew to the line, because the the world has a lot to offer. If they would just only just take their time and be positive and have a made up mind what they want to do, what they want to be, where they want to go. Fundamentally, we feel called as Catholics to deal with other persons, especially those who are poor, because this is what Christ would do. give yourself away as you lay down your life uh, for others, uh, you, you find that uh, you, you receive far more than you give. You know, it's really looking within yourself and seeing if, if, if you have what it takes. In any time you can change your life forever in a positive way in an eight week period of time, you ought to do it. Now is the time. Now is the time to enrich your life. If, if I wasn't physically disabled, I would love to do what they're doing. We're 
call to fix the problem in front of us. Catherine Project said, okay, we got a problem, we got a need, let's just serve it, let's just fill it, let's just assist, let's help. Jesus Christ has shown us how it is to be human. The people need you. We need you. Christ is calling you.